Today we're going to talk about Mike Bellafori's book, The Playbook. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Good day traders, I'm Stacy Berg from Stacy Berg Trading and today we're going to be talking about Mike Bellafori's book, The Playbook. So I'm going to be going over a few of the books that I have got in my library which I consider to be must-have books if you're serious about trading. Um, but one of the great things you hear me talk about all the time is uh, daily routine and building a daily routine that, that is congruent with getting the results that you want in your trading. So everything that you're achieving right now in your daily, uh, you know, whatever, whether it's trading, your personal life, all those things, it all boils back down to your daily habits and what you do on a day in and day out basis. Um, you know, uh, if you're not getting the results that you want, you need to chunk things back and break it down into the simplest things and then build it from there and make those short daily habits congruent with the results that you want in your life and in your trading. So, you know, I talk about different things with mindset training, methodology, um, you know, money management, but also your health, your relationships, all the things that hopefully you're going to create and manifest in your life. And we talk about building a vision statement uh, because it's about you. Mark Douglas talks about this. Become the trader that you want to be. So, you know, that all boils back down to what you do daily. And I have another saying, you know, small daily disciplines or small, di di small disciplines done daily pay big dividends. So let's just talk about and review some of the key aspects of this book. I know um, Mike, Mike Bellafori talks about one of the things they do at SMB Capital on a daily basis is that they have a, uh, you know, a morning routine where they come in and traders will present a chart, they'll review it, uh, maybe the previous trade from the day before, some of their best trading setups, they'll review what happened, how they traded it, how they traded size, you know, all these different things, but they're constantly focusing on getting better every single day. Now that's what this book is about, that's what you know, my seven step daily routine for high performance traders is about, it's about you working on the little things every single day that are going to help you get better. So one of the best things I love is that it's about building on your strengths. So, you know, I've really focused on narrowing things down to a couple of, of setups for me. And you know, uh, what, a couple of the simple setups, I'll, I'll, I'll miss a day and, and my setup was that day that I didn't trade and then the next day that I'm ready I'm prepared you know and the setup doesn't come so the market is going to constantly be tempting you teasing you um, you know ma maximum market adversity it's going to inflict as much pain on you on a daily basis as possible you're going to miss trades you're going to you're going to get out too early you're going to trade smaller than usual and you're going to wish you were trading larger and stayed in longer or you're going to take too big of a size on a trade that wasn't in your plan. You know, the market will constantly whack you with the stick. And, and if you are using that information to better yourself and improve on a daily basis, it's going to give you all the tools and the techniques and the strategies if you're constantly honing that to keep getting better and move in a direction of where you want to be. So one of the things that they do with build, the playbook is they build on their strengths. I talk about you building your playbook. So archive your trades, make your notes, talk about your preparation, your buildup, um, you know, anticipatory signals, uh, how did the trade man, how it played out, how did you manage that trade, did you trade according to your, your money management, position sizing, all the things that every day, if you're getting better at or you're, you're staying in the headspace, you're being emotionally orientated, and you're working on the things that are going to actually pay you at the end with, with results rather than just going back every single day and executing a, a, a system that's not working or improving upon it or getting emotionally impulsive di and disoriented and taking you know too large of trades, moving your stops, averaging into losing trades, uh, you know no, not using stops at all, uh, revenge trading, anger trading, all the things that you know I'm sure a lot of you have done. I know I've done them, I've done them a lot. And that's where you, when you boil this back down and you prepare properly and you remain emotionally orientated, that's where you can just constant on, uh, constantly focus on sharpening your edge, working on it one aspect at a time, and just improving your flawless execution of your trading plan. Trading bigger. Now this is where I'm really trying to put some emphasis at the moment. I'm, I'm pushing the envelope a bit with size, which is why I'm just really focusing on some fine details with price action. I'm really you know, looking for a, some, just a gain, just trying to just improve that simplicity. Uh, you know, I look for really simple 
uh, mechanical entries because I realized all the, the mistakes, a lot of the mistakes I've made have been through analysis paralysis and then frustration and fear of missing out, chasing trades, all those things. So my, my methodology is very simple and, and I'm just constantly just pushing the envelope a little bit to remain emotionally orientated, manage my risk, um, take the loss when it comes and just move on to the next trade setup. So trading bigger with size. It helps you to sharpen your methodology to make better decisions and I think that's where this has really helped me a lot because again just simplifying and sharpening that edge and sticking with your you know your your A trade setups it helps you remain calm you know you're trading a bit bigger size but you're emotionally orientated with the market and you're just focused on executing your system so again your stop goes into place you've already you've already psychologically accepted that that trade potentially is a losing trade you know, 50, it's a 50-50 uh, outcome, so you have to accept that, that that dollar value that you've risked in the market is now out of your account. So Brent Penfold talks about this, he talks about debiting his account every time he puts a trade on and he needs to know that he's okay with that um, or else reduce the size. So if, you're, if you have a sleep factor problem, you're not sleeping because you're in the market and you know your trade's probably too big. But again, just going through your playbook, building and archiving, um, and sharpening that edge, it helps you to, to um, sharpen that methodology for better decision making. Understanding what it takes, when you go through this book you'll see the detail that some of these traders put into their approach to the markets and their, their approach to their trades. It's extremely detailed and these are the guys that you're competing against. You know, it's, it's a really important to remember when you go to the market, you know, you're not trading uh, a value, especially in currency markets, you are trading against other traders. You know these guys are out there, and you know they're the best, the best of the best, and that's that's where you're competing against. So, in order to be, you know, at your best and be able to compete with the best, you have to be working on that on a daily basis. No different than a professional athlete. Uh, you, you know, you you need to be working on the basics, um, working on your strengths, trying to minimize or eliminate mistakes you know and where there's weaknesses or where there's 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 been um, you know things in the past where you've either uh, reacted emotionally or impulsively and done damage to your trading account that's where you need to just again work on better uh, process to have better decision making uh, and emotionally orientation in terms of your approach and preparation for the markets the last part you know remember to be grateful like what an what an awesome opportunity we have you know, every single day, not only to get better, uh, but to learn and to potentially have a scalable trading business that's unlimited. Uh, you know, it's it all sounds easy. Uh, it's probably the hardest way to make easy money, but you have an opportunity every single day to get better. So don't blow yourself up. Be grateful. Keep getting better. You know, grow your account as your skills grow and develop, but you have an unlimited opportunity. Probably at no other time in the history of our world have we had such access to markets, liquidity, trading, leverage, all these things that uh, potentially can deliver whatever it is that you want from the market. So, traders, keep focused on constant progress. Uh, again, you know, fantastic feedback. Keep sending me questions. I'm working on some some stuff to hopefully get out quickly. I'm not, you know, fa uh, real tech savvy with uh, delivering that. Uh, this is a side project and so hopefully again you know by me helping you I'm getting better myself and I'm hopefully providing better and better content and, and uh, tools for you to get better yourself so stay focused on constant progress keep getting better and may the markets go with you hi traders it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke trading if you haven't done so please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.